world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. This is a new, uh, I'm going to try an experimental style of video. Just change the angles here. I'm on the cross side. Alright, somehow suspended my camera on my ceiling. So, let's move on. This video is for a uh, Hibernian son. I asked him to do me a favor and have a look at my civilian setup, as it were. Um, he expressed concerns about the uh, uh, people, you know, they, they're open carry. Now here in Nevada, I live in Nevada, I'm in Baden, Nevada, and I periodically go to Pahrump and Vegas, and, uh, you know, I wear my sidearm and my, my gear and everything like that. Now, this is going to cover what, you know, when I wear my open carry stuff. What I have here is an Uncle Mike's sidekick holster. And this is what started the thing, was he expressed concerns about the Uncle Mike's and someone put a hole in his butt cheek, um, you know, with soft holsters. And I can agree with that, because it's a good thing, but, you know, it's, it's, it even gives me concerns. So, let's cover this. Now, the thing is with this, this is like a prototype. As it were, right? I don't see where my hands are. I'm going to have to look behind me. Beats? Oh. Anyway, uh, as to my setup, this isn't what I would wear all the time. It's just stuff that I had put together because I had to carry it. Plus, I want to put something together that uh, I feel comfortable with. So, let's move on. So, what I have here is my main belt. Okay. Main belt. Right. Okay. Have my holster. Now this is stuff that I had been given, I had found, dug out of the trash, kids gave to me, and I had actually, some of it have bought. This is what I wear when I go out. I have my uh, magazine pouch. No name, but my god, it's, it's one of the toughest magazine pouches I've ever had. And it does a very good job. My magazine. My M5000 Israeli 45 1911 uh, configured sidearm. Like I said, the Uncle Mike's pouch. I have this belt, right, that uh, I don't even know where it came from. And I have my, uh, my everyday carry, as it were, knife. This you can see is the... Uh, Becker Companion. Okay, this is what I put on. Obviously, you know, if I'm in a very nice function or something, I wouldn't put this on. But when I leave the house, you got to realize I travel 70 miles, if I leave at all, to go get groceries and things like that. So what I do is, let's see. Um, give me a minute. Okay. Knife. Ah, oh, you. Goes here. This way. Goes behind the knife like this. Right. Then on the other side. And I'm going to wear it. I'm going to don this, right, to show you what it looks like. But I want to do this, you know, to give someone a good bird's eye view of just what's going on. Got my parameter clips here. Now then, M5000. here. We'll do it this way. Right. I know I'm a little clumsy because this is the first time I've worked with this configuration. Yes, that. Okay. This goes around my lower leg. Now, I like this configuration because it looks nice. I have the Brady Braid looking uh, <laughs> belts. Right. 
I got this at the old dollar store. This, like I said, I can't, no, don't even know where I got it. This goes here. Okay. Now that we have that done, we're going to come right back. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And I'll explain to you, you know, the whole thing. But I just want to have, have a look at it. All right, back in a second. Okay, and we're back. Yes, I know. So, this setup, Hibernian, it, I prefer this. It is so functional. It looks good. Now, remember, this is a prototype, right? And I'm getting them old funky jeans, you know, because I won't be dress this, you know, this and that, excuse me, right, I'm not utilitarian, I'm not going to the opera, I'm going shopping, I'm, you know, I'm on the road, 80 miles, 100 miles, this and that, and this is the first time I've actually seen it, um, from that angle, because I'm always looking down at it, so I'm doing this for me just as much as you. What I do like about this is when my hand falls, it's right there. See, it's right at my, you know, let's do the turnaround again. I like the braiding, I like the leather, you know, the look of the leather. It doesn't look tactical, it's, it's a, you know, it's something you would see semi-normally in every day out and about uh, living and doing. My knife is also, see, oh, I got it backwards. And I'm testing it. Turn my button around. Come on, you. Right, so I can just go like that, out, and in. Cut my dang thing off. And also behind it, now what I have on here is a bunch of hair ties and boinkies, right, uh, you know, little uh, rubber bands and this and that. VanQuest, Tough Gear, here's my extra clip. It deploys very well. Matter of fact, this knife kind of throws out the magazine to where it actually helps. You would think it would block it, but it does not. It actually kind of ramps it out of there to where right here also I would like to put another belt like this one right here now the thing is oh well, let's keep going here right so I'm looking having a look at what I look like yeah baggy old pants you know because we're out in the west and this is kind of a western setup a western genre or motif a western look to it but yet with modern age equipment firearms Okay, now see where my hand falls? It's right there. The thing is, you know, it moves back and forth. I know that. When I get this locked down, I would like to have the leather. I would like to have a leather holster because this is the mic soft one. And it works out for me. When I come down and draw, two fingers here, thumb safety here, break out here, safety's off, and I'm ready. Uh, just, I am all, I'm sold on this. The, uh, the high thing, you know, when, if it's holstered here, right, um, I don't like coming up and then out, and then back in. When I'm here, it's up and gone, and I'm, you know, and I'm deploying. Uh, now with, uh, they have those, uh, platforms big black platforms. Well, that can't work here because now you got this big hot spot on your leg, right? Also, um, the boinky, the big boinky straps, the, uh, the elastic, no matter how loose or whatever you do, they always, you know, they always, after a while, they tend to bite. You know, they'll always bite into you to where this is semi-loose, yet it still holds. See, I can it really, see, uh-oh, there we go, it holds it down to the ground, I like this setup, this setup is what I'm going to try and get some leather crafting and work out, 
uh, to improve the uh, holster situation. I looked at some of the holsters that you sh had suggested. What I have a problem with is when they taper down, right, there's no wideness, right? I need wide here or else it'll get barrel roll is what I call it. You know, like this back and forth if it's so close together on the tie down here. This is pretty wide. It's, it covers about that much. We're talking four or six inches. No, about four or five. That's where it doesn't roll when I'm running. See, that's there. Let's check the other side. I know that looks hell, like hell, but... See? It's on. It's straight. Doesn't go anywhere. Still there. With the uh, belt thing, also, I'll show you. I have a belt on, as you can see. If you can see it, or all this. We'll cover that later. Um, this belt buckles is to the side, right here. I've gotten in the habit of that because I worked on cars, this and that. And you can't have a belt buckle to the front and scratch people's fenders. This belt buckles to the front. Also, with this system, one or two holes back and forth adjust this very very nicely you know to down or up see like I have it right here and I've got about 500 draws see finger here thumb here safety up safety off going safety on holstered let's try it again up safety off I mean this is it I like this it's uh it's not garish. People don't point it out. I could use, uh, you know, matching. But like I said, this is just stuff I found and have been given to me, and I've scarfed and scavenged over the years. But this is it. I like this. This is what I'm going to go through. It looks all ponderosa, you know, like Bonanza. It stays where it's put. See? It doesn't have this big platform. It looks nice. The girls love it. They don't love me, but they love it. <laughs> right? And you can put other accessories. I have here on my belt also, uh, you know, my my everyday carry knife. And that works. What the, okay, let's go with the cons. Cuts this pocket off. This pocket is unusable. Back here, this pocket is semi-unusable. Here, you can manage it. See, I have my phone in here. Okay? This pocket is useful. Now, usually I have my bag. I have a VanQuest Sling Pack 2.0. Verse Bay is very, very, very... We'll do another video on that. But I like this. When I'm not being tactical, if you know what I mean. Like you said. You go out there and people start pointing and like freaking out and getting on the phone. You have this beautiful leather. This isn't, but you would have a nice gun belt. I'd like a different holster, but the same configuration. A good leather one. Right? <laughs> would be nice. But it's got to be wide on the bottom to avoid the barrel roll. Okay? Because that it does. I'm, when I saw those ones at Safari Land and all that, there's nothing down here that would accept a semi-wide belt. This belt I would like a little bit wider. Let's have a look here. See? And tied, you know, like a horse strap with extra stuff for, you know, and it looks kind of, I mean, you know, let's have a look out here. Pinches up your pants a little bit, but you got this thing across your butt, and you can adjust it, you know, when you can get in and out of the car, it actually it functions. It's like a four-point uh, tie-down, and you can put your other accessories on it. This I like. Okay, enough of my butt, eh? <laughs> now that you got that, and you can't unsee it. That's what I think. What do you think? This I like. Now another. There's one another thing. These this slides. It'll, when I walk down in a Walmart, it'll go way back here. So, you know, with a, some sort of fastening uh, system, here, 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 right, here, 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 
here, here, here, to where that would stay, you wouldn't have the slide down here that I have. Because this will slide, even if you're, because I've made this stationary. I tied two knots, one here and one here, so it wouldn't slide back and forth, but that didn't do me any good because it slid on the top belt, and this went with it, right, instead of being stationary. So I need something up here that makes this stationary, like you see, see, whenever I want, it's right there. I can keep my hand on it when I'm in line at the Walmart, this and that, you can always, because when I had it up here, I'd have it like this. I would hold it like that to make sure no one could come up from behind me and take it. And as far as that goes, you know, it's always right here. You always know it. It's always in your mind. And uh, harder to get a hold of if someone was to try and sneak up behind you and blow your kidney out. But that's what I, I think. I'm thinking that's the deal. Sorry. All right. That's enough of that. All right. Live by your wits, not by your words. Peace. Bye. Okay, P.S. Because I got excited, I got to actually have someone want, want to know my opinion. Also, when I wear it low, right, or if you have it on your belt high, <laughs> and now that you're not in the mix, you're gonna get a, a spare tire, right? I, that's what I wanted to address before, and I said I'd do it later. Um, when you wear this on your belt here. I know this is ugly, bro, but there are those that, even with less, just a little bit, you're going to get the corner bite into your belly, right? And uh, no matter what, 90%, unless you spend three or four hours in the gym every day, you're going to have that where you know, you have that high stuff. It's going to bite you if you have your shirt over it. It's going to sweat hog right and uh and you know rust sweat corrosion up here it's it just doesn't it's not conducive to have that up here if you're gonna open carry have it fully open you don't have your shirt riding over it and then over here right it'd be over all this and you'd look kind of, i know there'd be a hole i'm on the bus i'm kind of slumming it today but uh, up here, you're, you're so crunched up. There we go, right? It's just, you, when you come up here, you got a chicken wing, and then come out, and that's just too much for me to, I just can't accept that 1001, you know, right here, it's out. It's always right there, see? Arm's length. And you, this system, you can adjust it up and down. Here, it's right there. And that's the only position you have at your disposal if it's on your belt line belt. So, there it is. All right. Thanks for watching, bro.